So the base in base wars, the entire point of it is to construct a base and then raid other people's bases. So I'm gonna go and show you guys how to make a cool base. Uh, you can you can make it in any way you want. I'm gonna use I'm gonna show you two different ways. I'm gonna show you the fortification style base and like the shitty kind of take over a house base. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> okay. So I like this house the best. There's one way in, and as you can see, only one way out. So, closing doors, you also have something called key, and I can actually lock the door, although everybody has this key, so all they have to do if the door is locked is go over to their key and they can unlock it. So what you kind of want to do is you need to make a base. You can do that by holding down Q and bringing up the Gmod item menu. This is my personal favorite item right here, the blast door. You click it and boom, it just it comes down wherever you spawn. So I can put another one. You can use the physic gun to kind of move it around. By holding E, you can actually rotate the item. Ooh. And by right clicking, you can hold it in place. Uh, I'm going to take that out. You can do that by clicking Z. Um, I'm going to just keep that there for now because what I'm going to do is block up the windows. You need some sort of defense on the windows as well because they can shoot right through and you don't want to die here. So the first thing I'm going to do is block them up. Let's just get into position here. Nice. That's a good spot. When I block up windows, I like to use these. Uh, they're vending machine doors. The reason because they fit the windows exactly and they're thin so they don't get in the way and don't um, bundle up and stuff and look stupid. Oh, I don't know where that one went. Okay, that was weird. There we go. Let's go put some on the top windows too. <laughs> now this one's already kind of bordered off. I can use it as like a sniping post if I want. Actually, I might do that if I need to fight. But my uh, the thing I like to do. Oh, hold on. This isn't. Okay. What's okay? I'm getting rid of that. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> There we go. So uh, some other fun things you can do is use the tool gun to do different things. So right now it's set to uh, stacker and you can set it to different things in the queue menu the same way that you get items. So I'm going to go over to the color so you can choose different colors. So say I want green and then I click on anything with that it turns green. But my, uh, what I like to do is go on to color mater, or matter, I guess, whatever way you want to call it. And this one up here, the, the one that it's selected on the white, can actually turn it see-through. So you can completely see through, but no one can shoot through. And uh, so you can't shoot them, they can't shoot you, but you can still see them. But for this particular um, base, I like to use the stained glass. I think it looks cool. <laughs> and it looks even more badass from the outside. And then I get the see-through one for the door. So that if anyone opens the door, I can see them. The next thing you'll want to do is make a spawn point. So you do this in the same queue menu, except outside of these props. By the way, there's more props down the list. You can go over to general down here. Uh, for like steels and stuff. There's all kinds of things that you can get. Ton the, the list goes on and on. Like, look at this cow. Oh, whoops. Aww. Some things are taken off of the server and they're blacklisted, so you can't actually bring them in. Unfortunately. 
So we're going to create the spawn point by clicking Q and going over to uh, where it says um, spawn list. You can click beside it to less shop and then make sure you click the all with the birthday cake and that brings up that opens everything up right here this first one is spawn point the one with the guy so when you click that down this little circle appears and you have to kind of crouch to get out of it because I'm kind of stuck so to crouch is just control and you move out of it and that is your spawn point now so if I die instead of going all the way back to the spawn area I'll spawn right here inside my base okay so next I kinda like putting down uh, you can have anything um, so because of this spot here with the sniper you can actually get a turret so here's a bunch of them there's the railgun there's the minigun there's the cannon and the grenade launcher and all of them are a certain type or are money basically. Um, so I have 899 mil though. So I don't really, it doesn't matter for me. I'm going to place down the grenade launcher because I think it's rad and it looks fabulous. So physics gun. Okay. There we go, look at that. So now if I'm ever in a raid and someone's attacking me, this uh, turret will turn on and it'll start lobbing grenades outside, which comes in handy. Now, oh, looks like there's some fighting going on downstairs. I mean downstairs, uh, outside. Um, at any time you can change the color and texture of this so I can change it to the see-through if I want to look out. But I kind of like my privacy with the stained glass. Even though you can still sort of see out. Kind of. <laughs> uh, so what you want to start off doing, as a noob obviously, um, is go into the queue again into the same less shop and you want to start by building a generator the generator gives you power so five hundred dollars for nuclear battery I think you start off with five thousand or something so at this point this takes up a lot of your money and luckily you can't be raided or none of, and, none of, and none of your stuff can be destroyed until you reach the millionaire status which means once you've acquired five mil so I'm gonna place down a bigger generator because I have a lot more money so I'm gonna go place it in this corner here I'm gonna place down the diesel which is half a mil so that now generated power and that gives power to any equipment that I have nearby Unfortunately, not this, apparently. So I think I'll put some in this I'll put a boiler. There we go. Now that thing's charged. And the boilers, they don't really require anything, but every now and then they'll go red, and you have to come up and click E to basically fuel them up or so. Okay? So go back into your Q menu, and the next thing you'll want to do is get a printer. So a printer is how you make money. You'll start off with a wooden printer, and you'll be getting like ten, twenty dollars every thirty seconds or something. Once you make a diamond printer, you are now rateable. If you have a diamond printer or anything higher, you can be rated, because at that point you're good enough to get rated. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to make a silica printer because I don't feel like getting rated right now. I'll actually show you guys what getting rated is like. Um, all right. E. I like things looking kind of good. 
There we go. Does that have power? Yes, it does. And beside the printer, you're going to want to have your money vault, which only costs $100. So the money vault stores all your money. Now, mine says 2000 out of eight, the 85 mil. Okay. Yours won't say that. Yours will say out of 10,000 or something, or 100,000, I think, is the max at the beginning. I've upgraded mine, and I'll, oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. You can actually use the scroller um, to bring things closer and farther away from you. Okay. And so what that's doing is every 30 seconds, that printer is printing money, and it automatically sends it to your money vault. Now, by going up to the printer and clicking Y, which brings up your chat. Now, if, you ha if you're in a team or a faction, you can click U, and that brings up team chat. But for this purpose, I just want to go into regular chat and typing slash upgrade while facing the printer to upgrade it to level one. You can also do slash upgrade max. Oh, didn't, oh, did they take away that command? That sucks. I used to automatically upgrade it to the maximum. I'll just do it again. That's fine. There. Once it's max upgraded, it'll turn gold. And then you know it's a max upgrade. Now you can have as many printers as you want. I think there is a limit. I think it's like eight or something. Um, but for this, I'm just going to have one. Now, right there, I've already generated $43,000, but that's, again, because I'm using a higher level printer and I can store more. Now, the way you upgrade your money vaults and your inventory, because I think you start with up to, I think it's 10 slots or something, and you can upgrade or buy more inventory slots. You do that by going... I'm going to put it over here. This thing. Over here uh, at the very end of base, there's a research station. It costs $50,000, so you won't get it right away. But when you place it, where are you going? Okay, there we go. I, just, I like to put mine on the wall. Um, so then I can click E. And go inside and vault upgrade so my next upgrade if I wanted to I could pay hundred and fourteen million dollars and then that becomes the cap of my money vault same with inventory size I pay 147 mil and I get one more inventory slot so it's gotten to the point where it's not worth it for me to upgrade either of these so I don't but you can do printer efficiency which I'm actually gonna do begin research and so that's only 10 mil for me it's only 10 mil for a lot of other people 10 mils a lot but for me it's only 10 mil so now my printer will do better after it's done upgrading you can monitor it by the completion percentage here all right An another thing that you'll probably want to do is make a gun cabinet now go back into your queue and it's over here in the gun lab it's called and I don't like how everything spawns backwards for some reason. So you gotta kind of move it around. There we go. Okay, so your gun lab absorbs energy from your generators, just like everything else. And what it'll do is it will generate weapons for you. So by clicking E, boom, boom, boom. And you can check what you got in the top left hand corner there. It does need um, a certain amount of power to create one, and it uses power. And then by clicking F2, this is your inventory, but then down here is not your uh, in-hand inventory, it's all of the weapons that you just created. So for example, here's a chain gun I got. Um, these are actually shit. Um, they're they're kind of crap, but they're fun to play around with. So if I go into my inventory now, I can pull the chain gun out into the gun slot and it did. All right, 
so I pulled the chain gun into my inventory there. Uh, unfortunately, it disappeared, which is really, really dumb. I hate how it does that. I wish, that's one thing that I wish this game would fix, is whatever that glitch is that causes it to do that. So I'll pull out something different then. I'll pull out the blaster. Okay, I'm gonna put in the second slot. There we go. So this is a blaster. This is a um, legendary weapon as well. Um, and when you're tired of having something around, you can go and just destroy it that way. And you get money, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, for destroying your gun cabinet. Now you don't get as much as you get from placing it. So I bought it for 6,000 and I get 4,700 back. But again, if you're keeping up with your printers and stuff, you'll be making money. So right there, I made I made up for that like tenfold. <laughs> and to uh, take anything out of your money vault is just E. The money then appears on top and then E again to pick it up. And then it goes into your backpack. So now I want to kind of put up a little more defense on this place. So the door is here and we know that this is the only entrance to my base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a turret up in the corner here. An easy turret is an automated sentry and it's only $10,000 so it's easy for, it's not like these where it's like railgun and stuff for 2 mil and 12 mil but this is $10,000 and it's a simple uh, sentry that you can put in a corner up here and whoa where are you going wait a minute it's backwards isn't it there we go <laughs> that's the front <laughs> there we go and now if anyone enters that sentry is going to shoot it i'm also going to put another one in this corner So it's gonna shoot anyone that comes in here. No other player is allowed to destroy my stuff um, unless we're in a raid. And I don't have a diamond printer, so I can't be raided. No matter how, even though I have this grenade launcher, which is 12 mil, they still can't raid me because I don't have a diamond printer. I'm not up to the level of being raidable yet. Um, now normally I don't use, I don't even use diamond printers, I'm way above that. I'm using uh, dry cleaners and money hydrants and stuff like that. So, but let's go over to the tool gun again and we're going to go back into Q and change it to remover tool. This removes objects, so boom, get rid of that. and. Right, I uh, locked it. Right click to unlock. Ching. Ta da! There we go. Now, if you don't want people going into your base, you can easily just place, go back over to the spawn list, and. Uh, what am I in? Construction props. And just place one of those. Or anything really. You can place a couch in front of it. As long as it stops their character from going in. Um, so then I will uh, spawn back in there and then I can come out, out at any time. So I'm going to just, oh perfect, this is a good time. So because it's red now, that means I have to click E to get it to start working again. It's actually like paused basically until you fix it. So sometimes up here these ones will also go red and you gotta kind of resupply them. Now I can show you this. This is a radar, and someone's powering it with a boiler. The radar is what you need to initiate raids. So the radar will scan the area, and it'll see if anyone has a diamond printer so they're able to be raided. This is someone's base, and they're just killing each other over and over again. I don't want to go around there. When you play around, you can eventually go into your F2, and you can collect a ton of different guns. Now I've been playing for a little while. Um, down in the corner here I have 
uh, 899 million dollars <laughs> which is kind of impressive but not really since there's people with like two trillion dollars and stuff um, so these are some of the regular ones like there's the PSG and you can even get Damascus sword um, which is you run around with a sword I'll pull that out actually but there's a bunch of other ones which are legendary items um, which are always fun to kind of play with. You've got some crossbows, you even have like a grappling hook, some shotguns, some cool swords. I'm going to go back to the spawn area so that I can show you these without dying. Because as you can see in the top left, uh, there's a spawn protection. Now, by taking out, this is one of my favorite guns. It's called the Nyan gun. And I can put that in my inventory. And by switching to it, And that will actually go on forever. This is a gun with infinite ammo and no reloading. It can also has a shot. It also has a shotgun burst if you hit right click, which kind of shoots multiple nyan. So that's always a fun one. There's uh, another cool one, um, which is just like popcorn, and you actually just like here I'll pull it out. Do exact. Oh no. Ah, oh, damn. So I have some sort of glitch on my game where sometimes if I pull it into my inventory, the uh, item disappears. And I can't really get it back, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. I got it. Nice. Okay, good. Um, but popcorn, you don't have to fight. You just sit there and eat popcorn, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, damn. No, it's it's gone. <laughs> that sucks. Um, but anyways, there's some cool ones like rocket launchers and different shotguns and grenade launchers, mini guns. Um, this is like a blaster. There's also something called a prop laser, which will destroy props um, in like one shot, which comes in really handy for this base wars. You are free to shoot anyone you want. Uh, but it will get you will get a bounty. So I'm gonna go and ah oh, he left. I was gonna go kill him. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, some combat. There is up in the right hand corner. You'll see people killing other people, and it'll have a picture of what gun they use to kill them. So I'm gonna. Die. Because blast is not that good, even though it is a legendary weapon. That's really just. Yeah. But now, see how he's glowing yellow? He now has a bounty on him. So whoever kills him gets the bounty reward. Because he murdered me. So if you click uh, Q and go to Le Shop again, you can also scroll down and buy this, which is a snipe shield, which protects you from snipers. You can buy body armor. So you just click on it, and then they appear in front of you. And all you have to do is click E. Now, I'm just, I'm not actually going to kill him anymore. He's, kill me. He's going to kill me. Um, but as you can see over there, see all those printers that were sitting on the wall? That's because this is his base. So I just intruded on his base, which is why he got so angry. Now, I can do a fun thing. And I can go in there, but I'm going to use one of my items in my inventory. I'm going to use my Damascus sword, which I like to run around and just stab at people. Well, you don't actually stab, you kind of slash. Now if you want easy weapons, you can either get them from that gun lab for free basically, or you can go into Q and scroll down and you can buy them. You can buy any regular weapon you want. There's 
tons of different choices for snipers, uh, huges, uh, shotguns, um, any sort of like M16, AK-47 type gun, uh, your pistols, you can basically get everything and you can also see all the other guns you can get. So these are all legendary items that you can only get from uh, special events or if you get really lucky in a gun lab, you can actually get these. Same with the Halo 4 guns and the Doom weapons and stuff. You can go through them and everything. But it also, if you hover over them, you can see how much they're worth. So for example, if I go up here to super weapons, the Nyan gun that I was using is worth five billion dollars. So you can sell them to other players by simple trading. You just do exclamation mark trade and then space the player, whatever his name is. Um, and you can actually sell things. Like if you have rocket launchers or nail guns, if people are willing to buy them though. It's not like a grand exchange or a market or anything that you can sell them to. People have to be willing to buy them. And they're not gonna be for this price in the store, obviously. So that $350 or it's $350 billion uh, gun, which I think I have two of, I could probably sell for a hundred bill maybe, if someone was willing to buy it again. The swords and stuff, the melee items, aren't that great. They're kind of fun to do uh, melee battles with, if you have anyone that also has um... Oh, where'd he go? Woody! Woody! Eh, that sucks. Yeah, kill them. So because he shot at me first, he was red. Oh, well, I was able to kill him and I didn't get a bounty. But if I attacked them and then yeah, I gotta get out of here, man. Gotta get out. Ah! You up, son. I just saved your ass, buddy. Nah, I don't want to. Hmm, unfortunately I haven't been raided, which really sucks. Uh... Farts. That sucks. Well, uh, if you de if any of you are uh, new or deciding to play, eventually you will get raided, and uh, this music will kick in and go, -na -na -na. and uh, at the top of the screen it'll say, uh, for example, Master Ganyo raid against uh, Bill raid or something like that. And that means you're in a raid, so they can now destroy all your stuff, you can destroy their stuff, and while you're in a raid, only you, only the people participating in the raid can kill each other. You're not allowed to kill anyone outside of the raid, you're just not able to, even if you shoot them a million times, um, until the raid is then over. Um, to start a faction though, if you click F2, and you go uh, beside inventory up here, you can go to factions, and you can, oh my god, someone's name is Donald Trump? Oh, Donald, Donald Trump, okay, I see. I was gonna say, how did they get the name Donald Trump? Uh, so, I'm gonna name it Kamikaze, sure. And you can choose your color, let's make it red. Let's choose a symbol, the red general star, create faction. Uh, your spawn point was removed due to faction change. Oh, okay. Uh, so now over here I have my own uh, faction. 
uh, I can wage war against another faction if they if I have a radar out, but I'm not going to do that. You can also go over to abilities, and once per day you can use them. If you have a good base that you're defending and you want to actually make money, this first one here, Printer Overload, is a good, it doubles your money that you get. And over here, Money Trucker, if you have, uh, if you're in a uh, faction with a bunch of people and you're all together in the same building, producing lots of money and everything, if you activate Money Trucker, you absorb a bunch of their money, the, or copies it basically, it doesn't take away from that. You absorb some of it and it goes to you, so you get even more. So these are handy little abilities that no one really knows about. That you can use for free once per day. Um, I think that's it. I think that's basically uh, Base Wars. Now, this is a cool feature that Base Wars has. It actually plays a YouTube uh, video. So, what I can do is by clicking F4, it goes up to the music thing, and you can actually put in your own song. So, for example, I'll paste. And I'll play one of mine that I created. And you can just have music going in the background. Now, to turn it on, I just need to turn on this. But for this uh, video here, I'm going to be turning the volume down. Normally, I have it going, but you know, it's hard to kind of talk with music going. I'm going to show you guys some cool things. So up here, uh, last night actually, there was two guys, they were real dicks. Um, they were pulling the usual 12-year-old uh, kid, like I screwed your mom and stuff. And, um, and they had this little base up top in this little cubby. So I'm going to actually get up there and I'm going to show you guys kind of what they did. Now a cool thing that I can do that nobody else can do or not a lot of people anyway can do is I have a grappling hook. So what I can do is I can put that in my inventory here and I can use the grappling hook, shoot and then ta -da! and I'm up on a roof automatically. So but you want to be careful because once people see you with it then they're gonna want to kill you for it. So after a go a doing what I wanted to do, I just bring it back. I did a little trick here where you spawn in a gate. It's just a storefront template bars up here at the very top. You spawn one of those in and you click, you hold down E so that you can move things around and you kind of want it at an angle and place it down on the ground and then right click so that it stays up kind of like a ramp okay and make sure you can kind of run up it the next thing you want to do is go over to Q and go over to the thing called stacker now you can uh, change the relative to the stack direction and kind of like mess around with these two until you get it properly but what you can do then is see uh, as you can see uh, the ghost image you can click and then add to a second layer of anything you want which makes making walls super super easy but I use it for making ramps boom just like that I'm up here so what I did is these these dicks would had their little base and everything and they even had a little like ramp and a way up to that roof up there so I decided to mess with them and let's go down here let's go down you do take fall damage by the way I'm just gonna go in the spawn here get some spawn protection hopefully so no one messes with me while I'm doing it um, and over in this over in the corner here your ramp go over to the stacker tool and 
I just made a ramp. Boom, over into their uh, base. And they were pretty cheesed. Uh, obviously, they don't know this trick um, to do the stacking to make it a lot easier. But I did that, and they started blocking me. Uh, like, not blocking me like in-game. I mean, like, blocking the ramps by adding in other ramps. So, for example, they did, they did this. Oh, whoops, I forgot to hold that. No, that was really weird. They did that so that you can't like go up it. So then what I would do is I'd put another ramp <laughs> starting to go up over top of their blocks. And it really pissed them off uh, to the point where when the mods, uh, the admins came on uh, to I guess check the server I had three different ramps and a ramp going off of the house and everything and everyone was running up and messing around with them and we were having a giant harpoon war or we were just throwing harpoons at each other harpoons are one-shot KO items um, uh, which are fun to kind of fool around with but yeah um, Eventually, they the one of the admins uh, asked me if I can delete all my props. So, n taking the high road against these douchebag guys, and also being a nice person, I uh, just simple Zeds. Oh, what else did I delete? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> it's probably something at that house. Um, I'm up to one bill now, as you can see. Um, so there are a few things I'm going to show you guys today. Uh, well, I guess today it would be the same video as the other one. Hmm. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to show you the advanced dupe. So the duplicator mod comes in really handy when you have a defense you create and you want to save it for next time. So for example, if you were to spawn in something like that and you colored it and you welded them together and everything you can then duplicate it so if I go let's just color it just to make it easier um, where's weld first okay so those two are welded together I'm gonna color it let's make it a cool uh, this color which is very common for uh, people defenses I don't know why I think it's maybe a force fieldy color <laughs> I don't know but uh, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to your advanced dupe advanced dupe 2 you can use the duplicator if you want but advanced dupe is much better so first thing you're going to want to do is uh, your primary uh, left click is paste and your secondary right click is copy so we're going to want to copy it and as you can see I can easily place it down again and again and again but what we want to do is we want to save it so to save it you go over to your duplicator I'm going to save it into this section you're going to right click and then you're going to do save as um, shit barricade one and you can even write a description if you want but that doesn't really matter alright so boom now it's in there so now with any of these that are in here I can easily open them up by just Let's, let's see what something is. I have no clue what it is. First, actually, no, wait, 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 wait. First, I want to uh, press Z to get rid of all, all of those. Just in case these are actually big. So then, when you open, it'll appear here. Oh, I remember what this is. So this is a special defense that I made that you... Uh, from this side, so this is the side that your enemies are going to be on, they'll be sitting here shooting and not being able to do anything. But on your side, 
you're able to shoot through. So if I was to put something on uh, over here to shoot, shoot through. Good defense. You can put turrets and stuff on the side. Very handy. Uh, so let's just get rid of that. Let's go back over to here. Um, there's also uh, the force field door, which is the big defense that we actually got from an admin. Um, this <laughs> this defense is not getting through. Um, like you can get through. There's a thing called a. Um, blowtorch and you sit there and go but you know it'll take a long long time all right and there's one more I'm gonna show you guys and it's force field door skinny which is just a kind of smaller version of that big door it's just a pure defense um, Similar to the one that you can shoot through, but not quite. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is fading doors. So that can be found in the Q menu. You go over to tools again, just where everything else is. Scroll down to base wars and you'll find an option called fading door. You'll want to click start faded and then simply click on it. And what it'll do is it'll turn the door invisible and you'll be able to walk through it. So but what you can do um, to test that out and stuff. Um, but click Z, get rid of it, and you'll want to go over to toggle. And what that'll do is it'll make this only go in faded when it's toggled by... Um, by a keypad or anything like that. So let's go over to keypad right over here. We're gonna put one right there. And we're gonna put one right here. That. And when you scroll over to them, you'll see that some of these are lighting up. So the first number you input is your password. So I'm just going to go, You oh, by the way, you click E to click them. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Access granted, you walk through, and then there will be a timer if you've toggled it correctly. Basically, just mess around with doing things like this. Now, I, I don't use the uh, keypad. Uh, but I see lots of people doing it because then it allows other people in your party or faction to come into your base. I prefer just clicking the four on the keypad. If you have a door with uh, faded, all you have to do four, four, four. You don't even have to be near it. Like I can be way over here and just go four, four. So when anyone wants into my base, I can just go over four. Come on in, friend. And then once we get in, four. It's much easier like that. I can never figure these stupid keypads out. There's another thing you can set up, and it's a uh, text screen. It's in under the Base Wars uh, category, once again. And what it allows you to do, oh, whoops, is type whatever you want. So. Tyler is awesome. And I want it to be green. And line two. Why? Because he is. And I want that one to be pink. And you can keep going down and down, but you don't need to have all those lines. Then simply get out of the Q menu and you hit the text screen then oh my bad there you go see ba boom and you can kind of like leave your tag places a lot of people put um, faction rules 
and stuff on here. If you're in a faction with someone, then you follow their uh, code, I guess. Kind of like a pirate's code. Um, but you can also uh, increase the size and everything. I just went with the smallest because it's just a tutorial. Um, mess around with it. Have fun. So, the drawing machines are somewhere down here, I forget where, there they are, and they're heavy enough to crush people, but they're light enough to easily pick up, and I would actually, you can actually crush someone. <laughs> if you time it correctly. <clears throat> Alright, so we're over here in this giant factory. Uh, it's, it only has one way in, one way out, which makes it really handy. Um, but I noticed one of these. Now these are prize boxes. And they will randomly spawn throughout the map. And if you're lucky enough to find one, you can shoot them and get extra prizes. So... I just got a diamond printer from it. Uh, diamond printers are worth like four hundred thousand dollars, and uh, by destroying it there, I just got partial part of that money um, sent into my money pile there.